these are Lego elements, usually pretty hard and sturdy. Well, at least they're supposed to be. Looking at you, Brittle Brown. And this is water. So smooth Hi, and so you? soothing. Ah. And in this video, I'm going to combine water and Lego to put them to the ultimate test. First combination, we're going to be making a Lego pool for our five and first clone troopers who are going on vacation to Coruscant in a few weeks. I don't know why, though. So to start our pull off, we're going to grab a 16 by 16 plate. Then I'll surround the edge with a bunch of masonry bricks and realize that I don't have enough to complete it. So I let the masonry bricks be some texture and use these ones to finish off the rest of the build so we can make sure the pool goes entirely around the 16 by 16 plate. To make it a little more interesting, I'm adding these two mountain pieces on the side. With them close together, I can start adding water, or Lego water. The real water will come in a minute. And even more Lego water will make me realize that I didn't build the walls high enough, so now I have to go fix those by speed building them one block higher. And then I created some steps for the clones on the back. This leads to a beautiful cascade over the waterfall with a mega jump. Extreme. But with no ladder to get up there, I stole one from Lego Yoink. City. Hey! But then I realized there was a lot of bowling in the 501st, so I decided to build them a heart to make them feel better. Aww. Once I put my stolen ladder in, I knew that the clone troopers needed to try it out first. Aww, he didn't even use it. Now that it's all complete, it's party time. After hours of death sticks, I realized that the pool was slowly leaking, and then it leaked a lot. Because of the cracks in the Lego, none of the water would actually stay in. <laughs> But I wasn't ready to give up yet, so instead of putting water in the Lego, I decided, what if I put Lego in the water? This completely real clone should be a good test subject. Hey, are you okay? Well, that could have gone better. Now my clone is sad. Good soldiers don't go swimming. Unless they're in a fishbowl. It's time to make a Lego fish tank with all these pieces and these fish. I'll start with tan plates for sand at the bottom and realize they don't all fit. So with a little bit of adjustment, I used two large plates on bottom and with the rest just kind of built around it. So now it becomes sand and it's a little uneven to show that it's sand. But all that, we don't have a Nemo, so I had to build one. This one is the same design that Lego used, but I made sure his fin was accurate. Next is Lego's design for Dory. Why is the head so big? And finally this guy, the black one. Yeah. Back off, Darla. These are my fishies now. After building Nemo, I realized no fish tank is complete without a volcano. Wah, ya, ya, ho, ho, ho. Eventually, my bricks started getting stuck on the glass. So I pulled it out, gave it a little spin, and I'm going to put it back in later. I used these pieces to build up the volcano a little bit more, and now I need to get rid of that disgusting red and orange by covering it up with epic pieces. Or just whatever I can find in my bin. Oh, yeah. I put out hieroglyphs to teach the fish to dance when all of a sudden I hear this agitating grating. I hate when Lego bricks have open studs, so I had to do something to cover up every single last one of them. I made lava and rocks and sand. That's it. And then I created the rest of the build around the mountain, making sure it looked absolutely perfect. But there can be no perfection without tiling. Oh yeah. With the mountain pretty much complete, I just needed to add a few little detail pieces. And a cave with a gem for our clone troopers to mine, since LEGO cancelled power miners. <laughs> and I added a map to it that's printed. Yay! We want to add some foliage to make sure our fishies have plenty of room to swim around in, and lots of cool stuff to look at. Someone tell me why they switched these to this ugly green color though. Of course, I threw in some coral, and a jellyfish from Spongebob. I bet you didn't know this existed. Then came Dory, and the other fish, and I kept trying to throw Nemo on there somewhere. <laughs> Then I ended my fishing spree with the ugliest one of all. No, not you. You. Look how ugly his face is. I'm not a huge hater of fakes, but wow, this one is pretty bad. With our 502nd trooper ready, we can place the rest of the sand in here and him along with it. Right in the corner. Now's the time to comment. Do you think this thing will stay down or it'll float? No cheating. And... Oh, no. Yeah, it floats, which means it's back to the drawing board and we have to dump all this out. After dumping, I asked the fishbowl, what went wrong? What was the problem? Why wouldn't it float? Oh yeah, it was the fake clone. Get rid of him! Well, our volcano was good, but just a little too small. Time for another one. For this, we're gonna need a lot more pieces. But then I started building with the ugliest colors I could find. And ultimately stacked up this monstrosity. This should be a good base for our volcano. I used these black castle pieces for the top of my evil volcano and had some of the black rock pop out. With that, the entire sandy volcano was done once again. Attempt number two, this is much, much better. Now we gotta make it look pretty by adding more tiling. Mmm, yeah! Oh, and some other pieces too. Yeah. We gotta make this thing look detailed as crap. Need angles, we need wedge pieces, we need slopes, we need tiles. For our late power miners, I added a little bit of an orange crystal in a little hidden cave. I hope they find it one day. Made sure to tile off all those butt ugly studs too. 
everything is flat here. We had to add our fishies who've been out of water for far too long. Hopefully all the cool ones are still alive. I don't care about yellow though. To make it even prettier, I added coral. And of course, my favorite jellyfish. Perfection. And some beautiful blue bricks. Say that 10 times fast. Look how nice they are. Finally, it was ready for our new and improved 502nd trooper. The added weight, better stability, and plenty more detail. This better be one that finally sinks inside that fish tank. And off we go to the tank. And now we hope that this doesn't float, or I'm gonna have to quit LEGO forever. Dang it! I even used these smooth rock balls to try to weigh it down, but nothing would make it stay down. You failed me, 502nd. After two months of searching far and wide, I finally decided I wasn't ready to give up. I scraped the dust off the set and found my solution. Glue tape. Applied it liberally across all the pieces at the bottom and made sure that these studs were very sticky. With an extra precaution, I grabbed the glue gun. Now this should be fun. Gluing Lego is something I don't usually stand for, but because this has been so annoying, it deserves it. You can't tell me this glue isn't satisfying. After some time questioning my life choices, I stuck it right in there and pushed down as hard as I could. One last smooth water fill. Please work, please work, please work. I have succeeded. Now that is a Lego fish tank. Every coral, every fish, every Nemo led us to this moment. 502nd, we've done it. Now it's time for it to go. So if you ever wonder what happens when you combine Lego with water, you probably shouldn't. Happy fishbowl. Thanks so much for watching another Mr. Woody video. Please hit that like button and subscribe so more people can see this vid and I'll see you next time. Peace.